welcome. Today I wanted to show you Mercedes C-Class C200. It's a W205. The newest generation. And uh, yeah, let's start from the rims and tires as usual. Those are w winter tires. Michelin 205-60 R16. It's 16 inch rim. Alpen A4. Brake discs in the back and the rear. I had problems with the uh, brake disc though. But now it's everything everything is okay. No no bit sounds. Nothing uh, squeaky anymore. And uh, front 205-60 R16, the same size with Mercedes original, so it only it <laughs> it only uh, means that good news and uh, brake disc. Okay, so let's take a look at this beautiful body. We have very, very nice uh, lines here, so it feels a bit sporty, it looks aggressive and elegant at the same time. We have uh, beautiful wide fenders, so, uh, you know, it looks like a sports car from, you know, this perspective. It reminds me uh, BMW M3 fenders. A bit. It looks nice. And grill in front. This is a, you know, this is not an AMG package. This is a regular standard trim. And this is how it looks like. Of course, intelligent light system. So ILS, the top LEDs in this Mercedes. Uh, I made a bunch of, <laughs> you know, a few videos already, so you can find them in my channel uh, to see how they works at night time. Yeah, let's take a look how this car looks from this side. Uh, I much prefer design uh, of this sedan body rather than you know estate wagon version it looks more elegant to me it looks like a baby s-class and wagon looks you know well meh it's way more practical I know but definitely I I much prefer the sedan appearance okay so now let's see the trunk we can open the trunk using uh, this button here the open is very wide so you can see we can load uh, bigger items with no problem and we have a double floor you see it's hidden compartment it's a really big size compartment nice size and this is a battery here for a better weight distribution okay so let's measure it the length is uh, 101 102 centimeters this length and width is about here you have a about 106, 107, but this is a bit wider. The, there we have like uh, less than 100 centimeters, you know. So 105, 106, 7 in the middle, and here between this, you know, ampli, amplifier and this, we have around 130 centimeters. Without the amplifier, it would be 140. Light, only one light here. But also here we have a white, red combo, light. And I think that's it. Oh, we have, of course, hooks 
not the best quality though, but uh, oh, they are. They can grab some hooks with no problem. But I, uh, I had cars with a better quality, uh, with a better quality hooks in the in the trunk. Okay. Exhaust is hidden. This is new trend uh, in a cars. You see, double exhaust is hidden. There. Of course. Full LEDs, tail lights, and let's listen to this door sounds. Hmm. Pretty nice. And in front, oh, we should close it. Also good. All right, and now legroom. I set my seat uh, as comfy as it possible so very 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 far away from the steering wheel I'm 6'1 6 6'2 6 so a uh, rather tall guy and as you can see I will open for a better view you see almost all fist I can fit here you know uh, back in the days I was uh, you know I was sitting a bit higher and a bit you know closer to the wheel but uh, nowadays I I'm I'm driving like this so very very low driving position so I need to you know set a seat quite far away and uh, still I can fit here and about uh, what about uh, headroom is nice of course we don't have a panoramic roof option I couldn't fit uh, in a C-Class with a panoramic roof in the back it was just too crampy for me to to you know too claustrophobic in the back, but uh, here I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sitting with my uh, back straight, straight, and uh, yeah, I can fit. I feel, you know, with the tip of my head, my hat, actually, I can feel the ceiling, but uh, the roof, but it's okay. I can, I can travel like this. It's no problem, no problem at all. All right, so now uh, armrest. Let's check armrest. It's soft, very soft cup holders foldable here there are and uh, you know a little compartment actually it's quite decent size because you see my measure tool is uh, it's another not the thinnest thing and it easily fits here with uh, you know extra space okay so I think uh, you know this armrest is good, it's nice quality, and we have of course a ski pass here, which is worth to mention. We can, you know, uh, through not only skis, we can of course, uh, you know, use it as a as a gateway for a, for a snowboard, for example, because you see how long it is, I can, I can uh, keep my hand here and from the fist to the elbow, it's like, you know, at least uh, one one foot or more space here so very nice very nice a decent size passage okay so maybe let's uh, talk about uh, let's talk a bit about the uh, design in the back and you know overall impressions I think uh, this is the best looking interior now in the segment uh, I test drove about uh, 25 cars uh, and I still think this C-Class you know it's 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 the best looking car 
mm, in the segment, in this price range, no competition in terms of you know design and and uh, materials used inside the cabin. And talking about materials, everything is soft here. Uh, very nice wood. Here is also soft, of course, Burmester surround sound system. You can find uh, mm, uh, at least two, three videos uh, in my channel. I made, uh, I made it uh, before. So uh, there is, sh there should be a card with, uh, you know, with a link to this test. So I really recommend it because this system is a really, really awesome system, and it, it gives you a very, very mm, realistic sound experience. So. I really recommend it to, to check out those videos. All right, and uh, so everything feels premium here. Really, really good quality. And the door sounds nice. Okay, and the uh, door handle is located very, very ergon in ergonomic way. We can, you know, grab it, still holding, you know, this, this, this handle. When we grab the handle, we can, using our fingers, open and close it. This is real ergonomic and in some cars I need to you know grab the handle here and I know maybe it's important only for me but it's worth to mention that uh, I think that this is a really ergonomic place for a handle for a door handle. Okay uh, of course we have ambient light now it's orange uh, we can set either orange or blue or white uh, and uh, yeah legroom I think it's decent for the, the car and the segment. Uh, we can check how wide this cabin is. I actually I did it already in my uh, in some of my you know previous recordings. But let's check it here. It's around 130 centimeters. Yeah, you see 130, a little more, a little over 130 centimeters between. Uh, armrests. Uh, four people can travel here in a high comfort, in a really, really comfortable, but uh, you know, those wings here mm, makes that uh, when we want to put, you know, two or three child seats here, uh, this can be a problem because we, 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 you know, we need to sacrifice this uh, width, you know, due to this uh, wings on the on the back seat. All right. Of course, we have uh, some storage here. Yeah. Maybe let's talk a bit about a uh, driver's place because this is most important thing. And door sounds. Okay. What about what about uh, steering? The steering is well designed, very very good quality leather. The grips are also nice here. Turning turning circle is very very good. I will show you. We don't need to you know make endless turns and rust circles. Engine is uh, really hot. You see, first bar, so it's it's louder than usual. One turn and uh, and a bit more. So only one plus something. And this is zero position to the right, and we cannot, you know, move our. This is it. So one and a, I don't know, one tenth about, and that's it. So uh, really, really nice turning circle radius, and uh, this car is a pure pleasure to park because you know, due to the rear uh, wheel drive and you know, very, very, very good turning circle. It's very nice to, to... Okay, so now about visibility. A pillar could be thinner. It's not dramatic, but you know, it's uh, it's uh, too big, in my opinion. It could be, you know, a bit thinner. Mirror is the perfect size. Side mirror is, uh, you know, good, good, uh, good size. But still, we have, uh, you know, some field, some blind spot here. And uh, it creates, you know, kind of too massive too massive uh, obstacle here that's only my opinion you can have yours you know 
and you see here is also this is a uh, quite large you know field of view cut off so uh, yeah it's not the best for safety for pedestrians or or, or 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 you know when a bicycle is coming we just need to be more careful uh, B pillar is uh, thinner it's good size uh, and C pillar is you know not dramatic I just drove uh, not so long ago I, I had a Audi A4 B9 the newest generation and the C pillar was uh, gigantic I think it was a lot lot fatter than here so it's 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 okay we uh, we have a good visibility overall and the rear view mirror is uh, with a you know a bit thicker frame than nowadays with the you know with, with the Volkswagen Passat or Audi but it it's okay it looks nice too storage for glasses sunglasses or regular glasses LEDs control panel we we can you know set individually like left or right everything is LEDs here so nice light it, not everything because here we have a traditional bulb it's warmer light so vanity mirror with light and armrest very very soft and comfy really good really nice this control this is the <laughs> very solid feel the mouse is mounted like in a you know, terrain vehicle like in a 4x4 gra handle to grab when we are you know off-road it all car is shaking right now but uh, I have a being honest I have a problem with this because I control my you know multimedia system and infotainment I use only the swivel wheel with click so it's enter back uh, options star is options here is back right left and I use only the swivel wheel I, I see now nowadays we can uh, you know order Mercedes only with this swivel wheel without it and for that we need to pay extra money not not big money but we don't need this mouse at all and I think it's good because you know it's it's nice for your hand you can uh, use it as your as your hand rest <laughs> operating this wheel but I'm not using this at all we can of course here the same uh, this function is doubled here here and uh, here and there is, is the same and the star here and there is the same button but I don't use it we have a bar with a tiny menu here but you can believe me you just only need to use this wheel to operate uh, um, a lot easier a lot a lot nicer to use this wheel to operate every um, little function in this Mercedes system so uh, agility, con agility control button parking sensors Burmester volume increase or you know just the volume control uh, on uh, off system and stop start button here very good quality buttons really quality stuff those buttons are not as good quality as uh, this one but really I know you know for this money I cannot complain this cabin feels premium and that's it so I don't think we need to you know spend uh, about 15 minutes or 20 minutes to, to, to saying how good it is it's just this this cabin is premium everything feels here uh, solid nice good quality I don't have you know any complaints whatsoever Now a few words about a gearbox. Gearbox could be better uh, when we drive uh, in a sport mode or, or we, we want to drive uh, a bit more aggressive. It, uh, it's not the best transmission for the aggressive ride for you know when we, when we want to be faster but for the comfy ride you know eco it's perfect. It's, it's, it's really smooth uh, it's it's great for uh, you know low speeds like maneuvering in a tight places because it can uh, it can uh, make uh, that car uh, has micro moves and uh, parking is a pure pleasure so uh, parking maneuvers uh, really really great i cannot uh, say uh, too too many bad things about it but uh, bear in mind that if you want if we like to drive uh, you know fast and and we like we like to you know be we we're ad like a aggressive dri driver it it can be a little annoying at times and frustrating because 
it can lag and uh, it's not the best transmission there if we're you know sporty driver sorry for mess here but you know this is a <laughs> this is a compartment here we have a uh, one USB port and uh, two USB so two USB ports and that's it a compartment there glove box is a decent size it could you know uh, open a bit wider but we can you know still grab it grab something out of it all right so let's take a look how this car looks outside very comfy seats and now we will check sound installation we will see how this interior is quiet when the engine is running
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this presentation and uh, see you next time with next car. Bye-bye.